Okay, so here we are everybody, starting at bandit level zero, where the goal is just to log in using SSH, uh, which is a protocol that I can talk to you about in a second. We just have to connect on a specific port with a specific username and password, and once we've connected to their host computer, that's it, that's level zero done. Now bandit level zero, well, Bandit gives you a lovely little description and some hints on the commands that you might need, saying that we're probably going to need SSH, which would make sense considering we're logging in with SSH. And it gives us a little bit of reading material as well, uh, which I would definitely recommend reading, like at least this Wikipedia page, just so that we can start to build up an idea of of some of the, the applications we're going to use. And, and also because all of this sort of stuff really, at least in my experience, really heavily relies on you being motivated enough to to look things up, to research, to find loads of articles and and, and delve really deep into this stuff and, and amass quite a breadth of knowledge, or at least that's the way it's appeared to me. So, you know, starting off now and trying to get into that habit of being interested and looking things up is just going to really pay off, I think, in the future. Um, okay, with that being said, I'll talk to you a little bit about SSH. So SSH stands for Secure Shell. Um, a shell is just a program that sort of allows us to, it's like an interface between us and the operating system. So this, this is a shell um, that we're sort of using here. And Secure Shell is, is a, a program a protocol that allows us to to connect to a remote computer, a bit like how I mentioned Telnet in the episode before, um, but Telnet is done in plain text. So when you send a command, you connect to a computer with Telnet with um, with the Telnet protocol, and you send a command. And as that command is sent, it's sent in plain text, which means that if there was someone in the middle that could snoop our um, our connection, that they would see everything that we've sent. So any sort of passwords, anything that's important or like confidential essentially is out there open to be read by anyone who can connect, who can pry on our connection. SSH was sort of is a, a remedy for that because it allows us to connect to a host computer but without, well with a, an encrypted connection. So that if anyone was to pry on it they couldn't read, it would just be gibberish. Um, which is super useful, right? It's it's really it's really great. Um, so normally SSH works on port 22, um, but in this one they've given us a a port to use. So if we open up our terminal, the first thing we want to do is look at the man page. So we just do man SSH, hit enter, and it gives us the man page for this particular command. Now the synopsis, like I said before, is quite cryptic looking here, with loads of different flags and and what what those flags need next to them. Um, you know, so it's got this description here. SSH is a program for logging into a remote machine and for executing commands on a remote machine. It is intended to provide secure encrypted communications between two untrusted hosts over an insecure network. Um, yeah, which is brilliant. That's what we want to do. We want to connect. And here's some flags. So one thing I can show you is if you see where is it? Ah, here, this flag. P for port. So we know we need to connect on port two 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 zero. So we're probably gonna have to use this flag. And we can find that flag down here. Scroll away. So they're quite big, these man pages. Right, so yeah, the flag P followed by a port number allows us to specify to, to the program that we want to connect to that particular port. Um, like I said, SSH is normally, um, it's default set to 22. Um, there's these well-known port numbers that, that you'll get used, very used to using. So if we weren't to specify the port, it would try and connect on port 22, so the, it's the computer we specify, um, which we don't want to do. Let's come out of this. So I will show you the uh, the syntax for connecting. Um, we're going to use this every single 
every single exercise so you'll be used to it very quickly. Um, so we have SSH to begin with and we're connecting with the username bandit0 so like this and then we put at and then the host name which is bandit.labs.overthewire.org so that's the syntax we use the username followed by the host um, and then we, s we put this flag which we could put anywhere by the way after SSH this could go the other way around and it would still work 2220 oh sorry like that and hit enter and so you can see we've we've got this little introduction to the machine so we know we're connecting to the right machine just by seeing that it's an over the wire game server and it asks us for a password and the password's given to us here it's bandit zero so you type that in nothing appears because it it doesn't put stars or anything just to, to keep the length of your password secure hit enter and you can see something's happened we've logged in you can tell we've logged in because we've now got a different username we're now bandit zero at bandit so we know we've we've managed to log in essentially I was Dean at Cali before so and just like that that's it we're in now I can hit exit and go back um, and then control and L or I could write clear to um, to reset the, the screen another way we could log in if you look at the flags just get used to looking at these flags and seeing what they they might potentially mean we've also got this this L flag here for a login name so one thing we could have also done which works exactly the same is now we've not got the username with an at sign um, and we could just specify a username this way it's going to ask us for a password and it logs us in so there's a couple of ways to do this um, but I prefer the, the bandit zero at bandit.labs.overthewire.org um, as it's just a little bit easier I would say but yeah so we're logged in um, that's the first that's level zero and we'll move on from here to go to level zero to level one see you then